Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about my expectations for chapter 3, season 4. Now there's one thing that I expect from chapter 3, season 4, ideally. Now yes, we are going to be the foundation and we are going to be the original foundation now. Because... This is getting serious. As you can see, we got all of these September 18th posters, which is when the season will begin, and tomorrow, when it'll be, when it'll be the 17th, it may say that it's the 17th, but the season's starting in the 18th. Tomorrow, the 17th, we're gonna have a live event. And in this live event, where will where will the seven be? Because as you can see, the seven have been fully trapped in the goo. Actually, yep, they've been fully trapped in the goo. So I don't know where the potential seven might be. I actually really like this style, so we're keeping it. Because I'm not cool in this. With, of course, The Rock. So basically my, I don't know what I'm gonna say really about the uh, seven, mostly. But let's just say the seven organization is now dying really because w we did all the vibing quests from part one to part nine and in part nine which was the final bit was actually when chrome yeah was where chrome or aka this goo thing right here was spreading across the island and it was super serious which in part eight the part before is is why the seven have been potentially been hiding but stuff like the foundation imagined origin and well so on through the visitor the paradigm and the scientist isn't that seven wait so we've got foundation, visitor, scientist, paradigm, imagined, origin, and the order to spell out imagined order. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Well, basically what we need to do is now actually think of what is actually going on. Because... The origin was fully trying to actually save the whole Fortnite island, but we never helped him. And of course, in season two, the origin was quite mad at us for believing in paradigm. But of course, we have to believe paradigm in many ways. And that's why the imagined actually wanted the paradigm to be here, so that's why this all basically happened now we're looking at the return of the cube queen oh the cube queen you little domesticated terror you the one who actually wanted to destroy the whole fortnite island yeah that that was really fond of you wasn't it C cube queen and of course she ain't gonna reply because I'm pretty sure she hates us for defeating her mega master plans. Let's be honest here. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna get the whole... I'm gonna get... Wait. She doesn't have a... She doesn't have a pickaxe. I'm, I'm pretty sure she has a pickaxe. Okay, just let me find the stupid pickaxe. Q. 
cube. What? It's like the cube queen never had a. It, it, it's like the cube queen never actually had a pickaxe. Am I realizing this just now? Wait. Wait. Sorry guys, we're, we're on the road. Uh, oh. Yep, the Cube Queen anthem. So, the return of the Cube Queen. We've been thinking about the Cube Queen since season eight. Season eight where she came and completely tried to destroy our whole reality. And Paul Tuna Fish Stick was actually part of the Cube Queen reality, if I'm honest with that. But we're here for Cube Queen. Of course, the Cube Queen is the wife of the origin because he's the cube king so it's like so it's like king charles the third's wife and the queen basically so he leads the so he leads the whole cube then how was the cube queen meant to control this whole known reality and of course Raz has been completely poisoned by energy. And Torin, you've got nothing. Ronin, I mean. Torin, you're this little girl. <laughs> nope, I don't want you, Internal Knight. I want you. So as you can see, the return of the Cube Queen is very near, apparently. It is very near. Which is actually quite strange how it's very near this point. And we never really thought much about the Cube Queen, but now, if you don't know, the Iron Battle could be officially in Fortnite. Which, yes, of course, that can't be a confirmation, but I'm pretty sure that that the Iron Battle will actually try and help the island, although we're not in Fortnite officially. We're actually never in Fortnite. Thank you, Epic, but really, my expectations for actually season four are going to be loads of leaks. So of course we're gonna have many skins coming through here. Like like Gwen Stacy, Goff Meowsels and all that, yada yada yada. Coming out from this Chrome Goo, including the newly paradigm. Now I don't know who the secret skin is going to be. But we will actually know eventually. So my question is, would you like to have loads of the leagues that have been in shared in Fortnite? First person mode. Personally, for Call of Duty players, this is amazing for no builds mode as well. Because in Call of Duty, when you're fully armoured up with your armour plates and that, you actually have 250 health. And that is with 100% health. So, it really is going to be amazing for the Call of Duty players that will be playing first person mode in Zero Built Fortnite. Now we have enhanced NPCs. NPCs have been around on the island since actually season five. Chapter two, season five, they've been here. So they've been here in about seven seasons. 
which is amazing to think that Fortnite had really gone this far. But now we have new NPCs, which will be better, basically. Instead of them being lazy and barely helping you at all, you will actually give them commands. Like, attack, get in the car, just so that they... Well, actually, NPCs have been here since actually Chapter 2, Season 4, because you can actually hack the stock robots and then they be part of your team. They're kind of like NPCs, but they just hold a very good gun. Now, we are going to fully see an advantage, and this might be known as the second evolution of Fortnite.